Oh, yo, 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 guys and girls, hello and welcome. This is Chaotic here. We're going to be looking at a game called Mountain Blade Warband. Just been released on the PlayStation 4 and I believe the Xbox. It's been on the PS4 for a couple of days. And it's been on the PC for about three or four years, I, I believe. It's basically, uh, you could say, a similar game to sort of Skyrim and The Witcher. Uh, the graphics, uh, nowhere near as fancy. Um, it's a bit of a scale down in the graphics, but the gameplay is fantastic. It's basically a sandbox adventure game where you'll take control, start off on your own, you make up an army. Uh, you're, you, you know, the aim is. Well, do what you want basically you can try and be a king I believe you can take over and create different trades you can loot pillage burn things down you can play it safely you can do it all fairly or you can just create mayhem basically I picked it up for 13.99 from Argos which is a very good price for a new game. It's a very, very deep game. I'm still learning, so I'm going to splice a few clips together. But as I say, I'm still learning each time I play this game. Yesterday I played, I had an army of about 40 odd men. We approached another army, decided to fight them. Because we had a couple more men, I thought it would be an easy victory. And we got absolutely smashed. There's a lot of tactics involved. You can put out formation shapes, movement shapes. You can go on horseback, you can go on foot. You can go with a bow, <laughs> you can go with a sword, axe, hammer. There's many different ways you can approach the game. You could stay back and just fire arrows. You can just get in, a, you can get in the thick of it. You can purchase your own armor. You can hire companions who you can give and upgrade their armor, their shields. You can put them on a horse. You like I say, you can put them on foot. Uh, I've lost one of my companions yesterday when we got absolutely smashed by the gang, that gang of archers. So a bit later on in the video you might see me looking for him, but he's right in the middle of another territory. There's about five factions, I think. Uh, some factions will be peaceful with each other. Some factions will be at war with each other. You see little meshes down the bottom popping up. And go at your own risk. If, if you're at war and you go in the middle of another faction's area, you will be attacked. If you loot a pillage, uh, their their own army will attack you. So I'm just going through um, a few things here. I'm trying to get some supplies in. There's a full trade system. You can buy stuff and sell it at a profit in different areas. If that's where you'd like to be, you can be a trader. I'm just recruiting another army now because, I, like I say, I lost all my men. Yeah, you can, you can purely focus on trade if, if that's how you want to go. The ones in green are in my actual faction. But as you see as we're going around the map, you will see other people travelling around. If they're red, they're, they're hostile. So I'm just going village to village at the moment. And I'm going to get a, try and build my army up to about 30 or 40. I haven't really... You can go... A lot higher, I think you have a couple of hundred. Um, I haven't got the resources to have a massive army, so I'm going to look at about 30 to 40. So there's a bit of risk involved going from place to place. You may see bandits chasing me, or you may see me chasing bandits. The big army in the green there, are someone on my faction, so we haven't got much to worry about this. See, I've only got 11 men, or women. Um, so I'm going to try and get that up. So you pay peasants to, to come in your army, you can fully train them up. 
you can make him a better swordsman or archer or crossbow. Cost money, obviously, but there's repercussions if you go into an area and steal money from them, steal their cattle. Uh, your relationship with them will deteriorate and they don't want to help you there eh? I'm talking to one of the counts some of them will give you jobs some of them will ask you to do things you can accept you can not accept so yeah Mountain Blade Warband a hugely hugely deep game pick it up for about 14 pound lots and lots of fun so i've done enough talking i'm going to leave you with a few clips i'll splice together a few of the battles if you'd like to see any more mate and warblade material please put in the comments what you'd like to see and i'll do my best to get some more videos up peace out guys and i'll catch you on the next one I'd slit your throat for a trinket. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way.
Ha! <laughs> 